Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover. And now I am an educator at An Academy. So I published one lesson on the chemistry of carbonyl compounds, and this lesson is especially designed for IIT Jam and BSc Chemistry, and it is also helpful for CSI NET and GATE exam. So follow me over there. The link is in the description section. And now in this video, I will discuss about one of the very important problem from the CSI NET exam. Uh, June 2018 that is the previous uh, the last year uh, last exam so let's start today's topic so this is a problem from the last year CSI NET exam and uh, why I picked up this particular problem so let me tell you that uh, you will see that in every year there will be some problems which you don't have any idea right you didn't solve it previously you don't know what is the reaction name it may not be a name reaction also now uh, be because you don't have any idea about the reaction when you first see the reaction uh, you will be low confident you cannot uh, proceed further but uh, this is not the right way if your concept is strong you know the basics of chemistry you can always solve any question and uh, this particular problem I picked up because uh, in my personal choice this is a uh, that kind of problem and I will tell you uh, in this video that how I proceed and uh, how I applied my chemical intuition to solve the problem so you can see this is the problem and these are the options given which uh, what may be the correct answer so let us solve that okay so first this is our compound given okay here you have phenyl and this is a cyclopropyl this is the epoxide now the reagents which are given in the first step is LDA and trimethyl silyl chloride so LDA is a base very strong base but uh, you cannot see any acidic proton here right so although LDA can abstract proton from almost anywhere but uh, when you have base you will always try to find some acidic hydrogen right but here you can see there is no such acidic proton so forget about LDA now let us see what this TMSCL can do what this trimethylsilyl chloride can do okay so we have oxygen which has lone pair and we know that oxygen has very uh, high binding tendency with trimethylsilyl chloride so definitely if you have TMSCL oxygen lone pair will attack on that and it will form the o tms right so that will sorry here you have cyclopropyl so that will induce a positive charge over there now as this positive charge is formed here now this hydrogen can be acidic because this positive charge will induce uh, electron deficiency in this carbon and that will in turn makes this hydrogen acidic so now we have LDA and that LDA base can deprotonate from here so then this bond will go here and this will open up so this is why it is basic right because this bond can open now now you have O TMS and here you have the cyclopropyl here you have double bond here you have the phenyl okay you have the phenyl so this is the situation now now in the second step heat is given but remember here we had one chloride ion which is removed from here so in the second step heat is given and chloride is also there so in most of the reaction of TMSL you can see in some latter part of the reaction that chloride come back and it will attack on this trimethyl silyl group and now this bond can come here so if this bond come here then either this bond or this bond has to break and both are basically same you can see their uh, chemistry is same this bond and this bond they are equivalent so any of the bond can break but uh, for let's say this bond is opened but it cannot uh, stay like a minus charge so uh, you can write it like this for your convenience here you can write it so 1 2 3 so basically 1 2 3 so minus and here you have pH you can write it like this but rather I will suggest you 
to draw it like this just rotate this bond draw it like this and now you can see if you have this situation o t m s here when the chloride come back this will come and this bond can attack here so the negative charge will go here so that will give you basically this so here you have this one two three four five so you are getting a five membered ring where you have co group here you have the negative charge here you have phenyl here now this negative charge is very much reasonable here why because it is adjacent to this carbonyl group so it can be stabilized into this carbonyl group and you can show it through resonance like this O minus pH and also it is it is in conjugation with the phenyl ring so no problem it is in conjugation with the phenyl ring also and the third condition you can see here protonation so protonation they also given so now protonation can occur and this protonation will give you this okay so this will be product A. So first step product, product A will be this. So here the options given you can see this and this option 2 and 4 they gave product uh, this product, this right product. So either option 2 or 4 may be correct. Now the second condition, let us look at the second condition. So second condition is the uh, treatment with metachloroparbenzoic acid and we can guess it is a Bayer Villiger oxidation, right? So, Bayer Villiger oxidation will occur, and here I just write it uh, R whole group, I just acid group, uh, aromatic group, I just like AR, and now this will attack here. So, we will have the intermediate like this. Here we have OH. Here we have O, O, A, R and here we have phenyl. Now we have to decide whether this group will migrate and this group will migrate. Now you can, uh, if you know about migrating aptitude, always the more substituted group will migrate. So this group will migrate and you will get this product. Okay, so uh, in the product you will have phenyl here and you can see if this is your product then this option 4 will be the correct answer. So this is the correct answer. So the second step is predictable but the first step uh, it is apparently not predictable because you uh, most of the people are not familiar with this type this reagents and this type of structure. So at first sight you may be scared but you can see if you approach with your concept with your chemical intuition you can easily solve the problem. So that is the purpose of the video. Hope it will help you. Thank you for watching.